everybody and welcome back to Burkett Bazaar. Today we're going to be talking about weddings. My husband and I got married six months ago and uh, we did a lot of uh, DIY crafts um, and other things to just make it go as smoothly as possible and I want to share those tips and tricks with you guys. If you like this video please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps me out and uh, let's get underway. Alrighty. So first and foremost, my number one rule for you guys, don't stress it. Just chill, okay? Just take a big, big deep breath. It's gonna be okay. The only thing that matters about that day is at the end of the day, you are going to be married to your partner. It is, that is the ultimate goal and that is what will happen. If everything's not perfect, don't stress. It's okay, it's gonna be an amazing day. Okay, and don't let other guests or other people involved in the wedding ruin it for you. Okay, if they are being What's a nice way to say this? If they're acting in an undesirable way, screw them. I know it sounds harsh, but that's how it is. It's your day and your partner's day, not theirs. They'll have their chance to have their wedding or maybe they already had their wedding. That's their deal, not yours. Just don't stress okay look at me do not stress it's gonna be perfect so let's actually get into some of the fun stuff so our first craft that we're gonna talk about is actually the wedding favors and what we did for favors and I don't know about you guys but I personally I'm not really a huge fan of random little knickknacky stuff that I can't do anything with you know it's gonna sit on my shelf it's gonna collect dust and that's it. So when we were thinking about our favors, I wanted to find something that I think everyone would like. One of my ideas that I had to do uh, was a, um, like a little succulent plant. I thought those were super cute. You know, plants are cute. I'm, I'm into plants. But I thought about it. You know, I, I'm from Iowa. And uh, a lot of the, the guys that came to our wedding are not going to be the types to take after or take care of a plant, you know. So I decided that that was probably not the best route to go. What we ended up going with were these cute little mason jars. They're just mason jars with jelly beans. We put a little sticker that says thank you. And, you know, who doesn't like jelly beans, you know, so you get to eat the candy and then these little mason jars, everybody can use a glass mason jar. They're very, you can put God knows what in, anything you want. And these jars were only, you know, not quite $2 a jar. I mean, we had a small wedding, you know, compared to most people's weddings. We, geez, we probably only had about 50 guests or so, um, which is just the way we wanted it, you know, we're, we have a smaller family and we didn't want to invite, you know, our aunts, brothers, uncles, cousins, girlfriends, hamsters, guinea pig to our wedding. We wanted it to be close family members. So um, some of this stuff may not work if you have a bigger wedding, but I highly, highly recommend just trying it. Let's, let's take a, let's take a taste of these jelly beans. It's been six months uh, since we've been married. <laughs> And uh, not all of the, not all the jars got taken, not all the favors got taken. So uh, I don't know. Not bad, they're not hard. I figured they'd be hard. Well, cool. I was gonna throw these away because I figured they'd be hard. So I'm not gonna throw them away now, I'm gonna eat them. Cool. Alrighty, for our next crafting tip is going to be about the flowers. And flowers, I came to find out, can be incredibly expensive, like stupidly expensive. Um, so when you're shopping around for flowers, shop around, make sure you shop around. You know, there, we got our flowers from a store that, um, you know, it's a big grocery store chain, but it also had a floral, a floral center. Um, and let me tell you, a, a $5 rose is just the same as a $20 rose. There's no need to spend more money on them. So we, for all of our flowers, 
um, including, you know, my bouquet, all the centerpieces, the boutonnieres, all that only came to about $450, which again is, is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the stuff I found. Um, and you can also, when you go to order flowers, you know, you can include uh, ordering some of the vases for your flowers, which is of course going to run you extra, or you can DIY them. These are just wide mouth quart mason jars and I have them in all, all of our colors here. We have three colors. We had an olive green, silver, and a reddish orange. That was our colors. So I just, you know, you can buy these in 12 packs for, I think about $12, I think is how much they cost. So, I mean, about a dollar a jar, basically. Um, I would recommend painting them with two coats of paint. And even then you might want to put on a third, just depending on the colors that you have, if it's lighter or darker. And um, burlap was the theme for my wedding. We had a very rustic wedding, so everything was burlap. So I got some little burlap twine here and just tied little bows around them. And that just, it looked really cute. Plus, these make a great gift for people to take home because a lot of times people will take home wedding centerpieces. And again, they're just, they're super cute. And they are multifunctional. Mason jars can be used for anything. And I also, I just couldn't throw away my bouquet. This is my bouquet. We had some carnations, we had some dahlias, baby's breath, uh, myrtle for the green, and some cattails. Here's a pro tip for you. If you are using real cattails, which these are, buy the cheapest can of hairspray that you can find. You know, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Don't, don't waste a ton of money on it. Buy the cheapest can of hairspray and spray the fuzzy parts of the cattail. They, it will make them last for years. So there's a pro tip for you. That's what we did with all of ours. And as you can see, obviously the, the flowers of the bouquet have died, but the cattail is still perfectly fine. We picked them right before the wedding and they're good to go. And who says dead flowers aren't pretty? I mean, look at this. Just, just look at this. I'm not throwing them away. Alrighty, my next tip is not a crafting tip. This is just another idea to help lower the cost of your wedding. Make your own food. Now again, this might be hard because if you have a bigger, if you have a lot of people, you know, hundreds of people, this might be difficult. But if you have a smaller wedding, we, the only thing we ended up catering, there's a bunny out my window and a cat. There's a bunny, a cat, and a robin outside my window. Nature's pretty neat. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, uh, with the food, like say we had, you know, we had maybe 50 people at our wedding. It was super small. The only thing we had catered, we did pulled pork um, for our main dish. We did have that catered, but everything else, my mom, my grandma, and my mother-in-law all made. And I also made some food. You know, just make it in bulk. We had, let's see, what did we have? My mom made baked beans. We had mac and cheese, we had cheesy potatoes, we had some little pinwheels that my grandma made. Uh, oh, and also my sister-in-law made some Oreo fluff, which is excellent. Uh, and that saved us, you know, a ton, a ton of money. And, you know, make something, you know, you can make it a couple days beforehand, let it sit in the fridge so you're not scrambling to make it but um it, it really saved us a lot of money and if you can convince a couple other people in your wedding to help you make some food that'd be great my next wedding craft is the road sign so people know where to go i hope you can see it super cheap super easy to make all it is is just you know foam poster board that costs 50 cents at the store just, you know, draw, maybe get some stencils, which is what I did. Draw the letters, color them in with marker, 
And then all you have to do is get a couple stakes or a couple sticks to tape to the back of it, shove it in the ground, and you're ready to go. Super easy. Next wedding craft, the arch. This is a picture of our arch. Uh, my husband made it completely by himself, just using two by fours. He put them all together. Um, you know, wood can be expensive, but you know, it doesn't need to be the highest quality of wood either. And I've actually seen people, um, you know, these, these are two by fours that we bought at the store, but you can even, if you have thick branches of tr like tree branches, you can fasten those together into an arch. And that is a really cute, really rustic looking arch. Uh, what we did with this one is we, uh, my husband built it, we stained it, and then I just got, you know, a few little flowers and some uh, lace, some tulle, and just hot glued them on there and it looks super cute and pretty and very rustic looking our wedding was right next to a, a river if you do go with with the same style of arch to where it it comes down and then it has the two legs coming out you might want to have something to set on top of those legs because if a wind comes up it's going to knock it over we just used um my grandpa had a couple bags of mulch in his truck and we just set them on top of the legs and it worked just fine. Next wedding craft, the ring holder. This is just a piece of wood we bought at the local craft store. And again, if you have the tools and the means, you could literally just go find a big log or trunk that's down in a forest and chop off a slice. And that, that's literally all this is. This is birch wood, but um, my husband has a wood burner. So I wrote our names and the date of our wedding. He wood burned them in and then he carved these two holes to set the rings in and I just got some crafting moss and hot glued it to in the bottoms of each hole and then we set our rings in there and it was super cute super pretty. Here's a picture and um, again just the rustic simple feel to it is what we were going for. Another wedding hack. Pictures. I was blown away, and I'm not taking anything away from professional, professional photographers, you know. They, they take amazing pictures, they went to school for it, that's what they do. Um, but for us, you know, we were not looking to spend literally thousands of dollars on pictures. We could not afford that. Um, so, with today's technology, with phones and, you know, just simple cameras, you can take excellent pictures. My sister-in-law had a nice camera. She took all of our pictures and, you know, editing softwares are super easy to use. You know, just go on there, add a filter, maybe adjust your brightness, whatever else, and they look great. And that can save you literally thousands of dollars and they still look amazing. Next wedding craft, twine balls. Here's a picture. These were they're, they're simple to make, but they can easily become a bit of a pain. What you do is you blow up a balloon. Then you get some twine. Again, burlap twine was, was everything in my wedding. All you do is you blow up this balloon, tie it off, get some twine and a bowl of glue, just, you know, simple school glue. And you're going to cut off pretty long pieces of the twine, you know, in pretty long sections, enough to wrap all the way around the balloon and you're just going to dip it in the glue, submerge it and get it in there, pull it out of the glue and kind of wipe it off and then wrap it around the balloon and let it dry. And you do this all the way around the balloon this way and then you just go around this way until you make the little twine ball. This can be a bit frustrating as it was for me. Uh, right when you put the twine onto the balloon, it can get wet it's still wet so it's not dried it can fall off pretty easily but uh, I found as I was going if you make the if you make the sections of twine just a little bit longer you can kind of wrap as you put it around the balloon you can wrap the two ends together and that helps them stay on the balloon a little bit as they dry so after they dried all you have to do is pop the balloon inside let it deflate, pull it out, and then you have the ball. What we did with the ball is 
I got some um, just crafting their little miniature butterflies that have a little a little um, stick on the end of them and I just wrapped them around different sections of the balloon just put a couple on there I also bought some little balls of fake flowers this was uh, really nice because it's base it all all it is on the inside is foam and all of these little sections just stuck in there so what I did was pull these out and glue dots uh, glue dots are my lifesaver my favorite thing to use for crafting anymore um, all you do is you know grab the glue dot stick it onto this little stick here wrap it around the twine on the ball and then you've got little flowers coming off of it and it was super cute my next wedding hack music again not taking away from people who are DJs but for those of us who can't quite afford the DJ just make a YouTube playlist of all your songs that you want and get a you know get a Bluetooth speaker hook up your phone have somebody you know run your phone for you or just put it on shuffle and let it play for a while that's all we did we didn't pay anything for it because you know we already had the speaker and just put the songs on there that you want we had a separate playlist for all of our special songs like you know the wedding march and first dance songs all those kind of things um, but it was really really easy and we had we didn't use a microphone we just basically got everybody's attention and kind of yelled for our speeches but um, it, it worked and it's you know super cheap saved us so much money and um, you know if you get the YouTube premium you get no ads on the on the songs so that way you can just let them shuffle and you won't have to worry about ads go playing as the music plays so definitely definitely check into that one so for this next craft, we had a wreath that was hanging over our front table. It looked like this. And um, with this wreath, again, we had a very outdoorsy, rustic wedding. My husband is an avid outdoorsman. So what we did was we took some shed deer antlers and some wire and attached them to the wreath. We also took some uh, turkey feathers and some fe pheasant feathers. Let's say that five times fast. Pheasant feathers, pheasant feathers, pheasant feathers, blah, 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 blah. Anywho, pheasant feathers and stuck those in the wreath. We also took some of those cattails, as I talked about earlier, when you spray them with the hairspray. Stuck some of those in there. And uh, for a little extra color, my husband, my husband, it was his idea to uh, add some red shotgun shells to the wreath. So we stuck a few of those in there and that actually, it looked really good. It gave it that perfect little pop of color while still maintaining its, its purpose of being rustic. And it was super cute and, you know, super cheap. And now that wreath actually hangs in our porch and it is now a decoration. So it's multifunctional. All right, for my final craft, what we did was we took some Christmas lights and we strung them around the poles of the building we were in. So it kind of circled the main area where people were sitting. Then we bought some plastic ornament bulbs, like empty ornament, ornament bulbs. Um, and then we took some glue, poured a little glue inside the ornament bulbs. And then we took some glitter and we got the glitter in our three colors, poured it in there. You just put the top back on on the, on the ornament ball kind of shake it up a little bit so that way the glitter sticks to the inside of the ball and then poured out the excess and then you had these cute little little uh, ornaments that were hanging off of the Christmas lights and for a little added extra flair to it my husband took some fishing line and hung hung it off of the ornament bulb and tied some fake leaves to the fishing string so that way it looked like the leaves were falling down and when the wind blew through the building the leaves were twirling around and it was super pretty and it was just it was perfect all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it again like comment subscribe share all that fun stuff i do also have a tiktok account at burkett bazaar if you want to follow me there i post little things there and uh, yeah, just remember your wedding day is going to be beautiful. You are going to be beautiful. Your partner is going to be beautiful. Everything's going to be perfect. And just breathe. Thank you.